V squared is equal to GM over R. But I wanted to solve for M. Remember, we're interested in the mass of the sun here. So I'm gonna rewrite this equation. So it's M equals V squared times R over G. And so with this simple equation, the mass of the sun is just equal to the velocity of the earth as it goes around the sun squared times the distance between the earth and the sun, which we called R divided by G, which is the universal gravitational constant. And just by plugging in those three knowns, we can actually figure out the mass of the sun. The velocity of the earth as it orbits the sun is about 29,785 meters per second, very fast. The uh, R in our diagram, the distance between the center of the sun and the center of the earth is about 149 billion meters. And G, the universal gravitational constant, it is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11th power, which is a very tiny number. And so when you plug all of that in and calculate the mass of the sun, you get 1.99 times 10 to the 30th power kilograms. This is the mass of the sun. So remember, 10 to the 30th power is an insanely large number. It means this decimal here, you have to move it 30 places to the right. So how big is this really? How many kilograms of mass is this? This is equal to 1.99 million trillion trillion kilograms. It's so big, it's hard to even fathom that amount of mass. So remember, Earth's mass was a 10 to the 24th power term. And so the mass of the sun is actually about 330,000 times more than the mass of the Earth.